Who's your favorite director? <laughs> Besides, but I, I don't, I don't. So, so I, I don't have, um, I don't have favorite, I don't have favorite directors. Like, I, like what I have is favorite movies. You know, um, my, <laughs> it's it's complicated. Like, like it's 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 like it's like five. It's like five movies that had a profound effect on my life. You know what I'm saying? And, and I, I name I name five of them. I name five of them. Um, it's a film called called Un Prophet, A Prophet. It's the film I probably I probably go back to the most. I, I saw it when I was in when I was on my first time out of the country, and and and, and <clears throat> it's, a, it's a big big deal to me. Um, <clears throat> you got uh, you know I, I saw two movies with my dad in the cinema. Um, in, in, at uh, Grand Lake Theater in Oakland. And I sat, on his, I sat on his lap. I was way too young to see these movies. I was way too young. He, 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 he like made, me, made, me go, made me go see him. One was Boys in the Hood and the other one was Michael Max. Um, Michael Max was a big one for me um, because uh, I had never seen, I'd never seen a, a, a black man that powerful, you know, and, and, and and it was a wild experience, man. And I'd never be able to duplicate because I was sitting on my dad's on my dad's lap because I was too small to see over the seat. And 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 it was a it was a point in the film where where the Malcolm X showed up that that everybody knew, you know. See, and Spike, you you know the you know the part, but it's the cut and he's in prison and he's got the glasses on, and it's the first time you see the Malcolm that we all that we all knew. And then my dad said, "There he is." You know, and, and we had been watching them. We had been watching them, the same man in the movie the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, but my pops didn't recognize him as all this other, as all these other things. You know, he was waiting for, he was waiting for that. He was waiting for that Malcolm to show up. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and so I remember like looking back at my dad, like, okay, I guess the movie, I guess the movie's gonna get better now. You know, and and, and um, and and I remember when I remember when uh, you know, I remember when uh, when 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 they, when they I remember when they killed him, and, and and I was just inconsolable. You know what I'm saying? I lost my shit. I did the same thing when Ricky died, and, and cause I, cause, cause it, it it wasn't a movie to me. Like I was seeing like black folks, like full you know hundred foot screen, you know. And I was a I was a baby. I couldn't really truly understand it all the way. You know what I'm saying? And and, and, and you know, but the, the interesting part about 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 my, uh, you know about boys, I was just devastated after boys. I was devastated. You know, I'm crying all over the place. And then my and then it's a, and then it's a uh, it's a, uh, it's a white gentleman next, sitting next to me, and he tells my dad, he's like, man, you know, that baby shouldn't be in here. So then my dad, like, stands up with me in, in one arm. He said, I'll beat your ass with this baby in my arm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then, so then, and if you know that movie, and if you know that movie, it's like 20 minutes left in the movie. You know what I'm saying? So, so, then, so, then, so then dude's like, all right, whatever. You know, and so my dad sits down, and we got to sit next to this dude for another 20 minutes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So I'm like, I'm like crying. I'm like looking at my dad. He's crying, you know what I'm saying. And then the other dude was scared of my dad. So I'm like looking, you know. It, it, but, 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 with, but with, uh, but with Malcolm, but with, but with Malcolm, you know, I remember being, I was, I remember being inconsolable again. You know what I'm saying? And, and, cause they, they, you know, they killed, they killed, they killed Malcolm. And then, um, but then, the, but then the kids come on. You know, the kids say, I, I am Malcolm, I am Malcolm X. And then it put it, it put it in me. I'm like, oh yeah, this is a movie. You know what I'm saying? And, and, I, and just seeing the kids saying that was a, was a you know was a big deal, man. So, so I mean, like, you know, it was, it was more than it was more than a movie. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then you got um, and you got another Spike class. You got to do the right thing. Um, and in a way, in a way, he made Brooklyn feel. I'd never been in New York. I didn't come to New York till, till I was you know a grown man. But 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 seeing that as a kid, I'm like, yo, I gotta go to that place. You know what I'm saying? Like. It just felt it felt alive and it felt like it felt like home, you know. And, and, and when I learned I wanted to make movies, I wanted to make a movie about home that felt, you know, that felt as real as, as you know as real as do the right thing did. Um, <clears throat> and then how many movies is that? Was that four? four. Yeah. All right. So 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 number number five, number five is gonna be a movie called uh, Wow, a movie called Fish Tank, um, by Andrea Arnold. And that, and that movie was the, you know, that movie was one of the first first movies I ever saw, that that made me that made me understand, you know, um, uh, it made me feel like I, underst I understood women more, you know, watching that movie. That's the best way I could describe 
the feeling that I had in, 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 in watching it. But um, it, it's, it's you know, it's one of those films, you know, like you know, like Love and Basketball, like Daughters of the Dust. That's like a, a rallying cry of why the world needs, you know, women filmmakers. You know what I'm saying?